Hey, it's Random Code here, and today in this video I'm gonna talk about a concept that has been discussed or at least asked quite a few times in some of the comments. And it's a simple concept of if we have multiple scenes in JavaFX, then how do we send data between them? So, for example, I think if we have a simple project like this, we'll just input some kind of name. Well, I will go Dan. I will then submit this name, and we then enter a new scene. So, as you see, scene two. And we then send this data. So, in this case, the name has been defined as Dan. We can go back. Now we send a blank name, the name is blank, and so on. So just a very simple concept of sending data from one scene to another. But where I think most people seem to be a bit confused is they think there might be some magical way of doing it, but more often than not, people seem just to be lacking quite a few steps. Because, at least in larger application, when doing some kind of like data like this, when we would submit some kind of data, like a name, so a data point like a name, we would probably add it to a database, or some kind of storage system for our data. So we don't just send the data between the scenes, we would not like to actually save the data and have this persistent layer like a database. But it might be a bit extra when just doing a small JavaFX application like this. So in this video I want to showcase an example of what we can do, but I think it's very important to understand that like the correct way or the proper way of doing it is having some kind of database, either locally or sending it to actually some kind of external database where we keep our data. So, in this example, it is relatively simple. I have two controllers with two FXMLs connected, which is, the, as we just saw, the two scenes. The first scene where we submit our data, and the next scene would then get the data, then showcase it on screen. And the way I'm doing it in this case, I'm not using a database, I'm not saving it locally in some kind of text file or JSON file, which would also be an option. I am using a singleton, and more specifically, I call it like a data singleton, so it's kind of like a data class. So it's this class that handles my data, but technically we would do this as well if using a database. The difference is here that I create a singleton, and just in short, a singleton is a class, or more specifically an object, where we can only have one instance of this object. So even though we're accessing this object from multiple parts of the system, it's the same object that we're accessing, and in this way we can use it as to share data, or in a big application, we could use this singleton to connect to our database. So we have one connection point, and we then use this connection point to send the data and then retrieve our data later on. Which is actually more or less what I'm simulating here. So we have a singleton, we create a, a private instance, so then access this instance, you need to do get instance, and we can then use this singleton object to then get our username or set our username. So inside the first controller, just have a symbol text input field, we then have a connection to our singleton, our data point, where we simply just do data singleton dot get instance. We then have our submit button, where we just simply take our singleton and set username to the input from our text field. And I then have some setup to change scenes. I will leave a link up here. There should be, I have another video, I'm not going to discuss it in this video, but then we change the scene to scene 2, we then use the second FXML and the second controller, which then also has a connection to our data singleton instance. Inside an initialize, so when the scene is done loading, we would then simply access our data by doing text field dot set text and then our data point dot get username in this case. And it's very simple because we only have one point of data. And I've been mentioning a database quite a few times now, and we could would actually do more of the same thing if we, if we were working with a database. We'd also have some kind of like data class like this, where we could then set some text or set some data values, and then later on just retrieve them. Only difference is then that this data singleton wouldn't just save them inside itself as a variable. It would then be sent to the database, or retrieved from the database, or changed in the database, or so on. But this is the simple way of how we in JavaFX can use a singleton, in this case, which is some variables, to save data and more specifically then send this data between the scenes. But again, we're not sending the data, we're then sending the data to the singleton and then retrieving the data from the singleton, which is this different concept. I seem quite a few people seem to be confused that we're not sending the data from one scene to another, we're putting it in, like in this case, in a data singleton database, it's not a database, but we put it inside this instance and then we're retrieving it from its instance. 
So I hope this made this concept of, of data and how we're sending it, sending it inside the system a bit clearer. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.